Every year, a handful of the world's finest athletes travel around the globe in pursuit of the biggest waves on the planet. Tonight, they've made the pilgrimage to Anaheim, California to remember the ones they conquered as well as the ones that got away. But the main reason they're here is to celebrate the sport they love, big wave surfing. What separates big wave surfing apart from all the other sports is there's no constant. It's constantly changing, it's just different every time. Every swell, every place in the world, always different. The 2011 and 12 was the best season ever for big waves. It was pumping everywhere. Progression of big wave surfing this year has gone off the charts. Craziest ride of the times that we live in. You guys are just pushing each other, pushing each other farther, farther, farther. One of the most forward progressive years in paddle history. The limits are basically pushed on every given swell. I can't believe the situations that people are putting themselves in. I mean, it was a monumental year. There's no doubt about it. Probably some of the most perfect big waves I've ever seen. You got the world's best surfers on one of the world's best waves during the perfect storm. Best waves I've ever seen on that cloud break swell. Our unique vantage point is the size and sure power of those waves coming into Maui is pretty impressive. Yeah, Nathan Fletcher wave was so gnarly. Biggest, craziest barrel any human's ever been in, hands down. There's nothing else on your mind at that point except for just making it. He should have died. There definitely was some game-changing moments. I don't know what we're going to have to do next year. <laughs>